Hello, welcome to ACC Tech Talks. I'm your host, Vanessa Medina Flores, and today's topic is communicating it. In today's topic, we review tools and tips on how to communicate, capture, and report when experiencing technical errors. These tools help capture error reporting, process walkthrough, and virtual communication across the district, all of which are completely free and easily accessible to use from your desktop. Today's subject matter expert and content developer is Keely Mosley. She is a senior software engineer with IT Applications Development, and she will be joining us in video demonstrations. First up, we will show you tools on how to communicate troubleshooting errors. We'll review three desktop tools for documenting errors you did not know you had. The first tool, Snippet Tool, is a PC desktop tool that you can use for free. The second tool is the Problem Recorder tool, which is also a PC tool that you can use for free as well. And the third tool for our Mac users is the Screenshot tool. Let's take a look at our video demonstration. In this demonstration, we overview the snipping tool. To find the snipping tool, you're going to click on the Start menu, and you're going to search for snipping. Once it comes up, you're going to click it, and you are going to select the area that you want to convey. And I'm just selecting, of course, from our schedule so that I can show someone where to find the textbook link. So there's some additional tools here where you can use a pen. And I'm actually going to change this color to red and I'm going to circle on the textbook textbooks area to highlight where to find it at. And you also have a highlighter where you can highlight an area as well just to bring special attention. Once you're finished with that, you're just going to right click anywhere on the image and I'm going to say copy. And I'm actually going to send this in an email so that I can share this with a colleague. Let me send this to Vanessa. And anywhere in the body, you're just going to click right click in there and you're going to hit paste. And to make this big, you just click on the image itself, click original size. And as you see, the area where it was highlighted and circled, and that's how you can easily share an image. In this demonstration, we will overview the problem recorder tool. To find the tool, you're going to click on the start menu and you are going to type in recorder. Click on the record steps to produce a problem and you're going to click on the start button to start recording your steps and I'm going to minimize this here. So I'm going to show you how to find your student student planning, your degree plan. So I'm going to log into online services to get there. And I'm going to select student planning because I want to show a student where they can find their overview of their program. And here we go here. Let's just click on my progress. And here we go. So now I'm going to go to my start recorder. I'm going to go ahead and stop it now. And I'm going to name it student planning steps. And note that I'm saving it on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And let's go ahead and check out that file that it created. So it created a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and open it so you guys can see exactly what it actually did. And here I recorded every single step that I have taken here. And I it shows the browser that was used, Google Chrome has a time here. If I scroll down, it shows every single page that I visited. Each step that I took. And 
and it even has it typed up in text as well. And what's cool about this, you can share this file if you need it to with a colleague or a student. So I'm just going to open up my email. I'm going to compose a new email and I'm going to send this to Vanessa. And I'm going to click on the paper click down here. Select the zip file that we just created with the steps. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you how to use selection tools using a Mac. In this example, I'm going to take a full screenshot of the entire screen and I'm going to focus in and select in on a section for student development. So on your keyboard, you're going to hold down the Command Shift 3 to take a full screenshot of your screen. Keep in mind if you have anything sensitive open, you will want to close it because it will be captured in the screenshot. To do the other tool, you're going to hold down Command Shift 4 to get your selection tool on the screen. Notice it looks like a little compass on the screen. I'm going to hold down and I'm going to select the area that I want to focus in on. And I'm actually going to show you the pictures that we have taken so you can see what they look like. And they are saved on your desktop. This is the full one. And this is the selection one. Now you're able to share these screenshots with your colleagues or a student to provide more information. You might be asking what else can Google at ACC do for you? Do you use Google Hangouts? Did you know that you can also video chat and do shared screen? Let's review a video demo on how to initiate a Google Hangout session. Hello. Next, I am going to show you how to share your screen during a Google Hangout session. During a Hangout video chat, you can let others view your screen by enabling the share screen option. In this demo, I will show you the very easy process on how to enable share screen option with your colleague. As you can see, I have my Gmail inbox open. To the right, you will see the chat search. Some employees still use the chat within Gmail feature as shown. To get from Hangouts from your inbox, if you do not have the chat within Gmail feature, click on the apps cube. The apps cube is located at the top right hand side. Click on Google Apps. And if you do not see it initially, click on more and find Google Hangouts. This opens Hangouts in a web browser. Let's start a video chat. Hover over the video camera icon and start video call. But first, create a conversation. I'm going to call my colleague Keely. Simply type in your colleague's name, find them, click on the little rectangle next to their name, to indicate that that's who you want to speak to and either send a message or send a video call. Let's send a video call. You also have the option to invite other people as you see fit. On the left hand side, you have a chat feature which enables a group chat. Let's send a message to Keely. Let's show Keely what I want her to see get this in preparation, we'll find our Google Hangouts, 
on the left-hand side under your chat feature, please find Screen Share. In this prompt, Google Hangouts indicates which screen you want to share. Choose the appropriate screen. In this situation, I want to share with Keeley something on the web. I indicate the browser, click on Share, and a green indicator at the top of your browser mentions that you are screen sharing. You have the option to stop, and you have the option to continue to present to everyone. That is, everyone inside your group chat. You additionally have a prompt at the bottom of your screen reminding you that you are sharing a window with Hangouts. You have the option to stop sharing if that's what you wish to do. Click on Stop to adjourn screen share. This has been an overview on how to open and use Google Hangouts and share your screen with colleagues at ACC. Now that you've become empowered as a Google guru, the next is a case study Keeley receives an email request from Kristen, who would like to meet over the next two weeks to receive instructions on how to set up communication management for sending emails. Keeley is actually in the midst of creating an email doc, and she would like to invite Kristen to watch in Google Hangouts. This concludes our demonstration on communicating it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for our next ACC Tech Talks.